Tonight, organizers, spectators, and the flight community are with heavy hearts after a horrible accident at the Vectron Dayton Air Show. Jane Wicker and Charlie Schwenker were killed when their plane went down just before one this afternoon while they were performing a wing walking stunt. Our Jackie Sprague has been gathering the latest information ever since after today's tragedy at the air show. Well, Mark and Katie, we just got off the phone with the National Transportation Safety Board. Official, officials tell us investigators are still en route here to Vandalia. However, the plane is gone, removed from the scene here at the Veteran Dayton Air Show. Now, once they arrive, those investigators have a lot of work ahead of them to try to determine how and why this deadly crash happened. Now they will look at the wreckage, examine the area, talk to witnesses and look at videos and pictures. And the NTSB tells us they plan to hold a press conference sometime tomorrow. We've also learned tonight that just a few days before this deadly crash, one of the victims, Jane Wicker, tweeted that this was her first air show since injuring her lung and spleen in a non-aviation accident. She tweeted that she had been grounded for the past couple weeks and was ready to rock Dayton. Now her pilot, Charlie Schwenker, was also killed in this plane crash. The tragedy has left the air show community in shock. Uh, this is a, is a tragedy for what's a very small community. And, you know, obviously our thoughts and, and prayers go out to, to those two individuals and their families. Throughout air shows uh, around the country, many of the acts are part of the same association and they perform together, spend time together, and they get to know each other. And that's the case. So really it's about a friendship that's pulled together from an industry. Now, following today's deadly crash, the air show was canceled for the remainder of the day, but officials say the show will go on tomorrow as scheduled. Gates open at 9 a.m. Now, aerial acts will begin at noon with a moment of silence beforehand for both of those victims. Now, the high-flying acts will run until 4 p.m. Tickets for the event will be honored. Tickets for today's event will be honored tomorrow. Now, I spoke with many people who witnessed that crash today, and they tell me they will be back tomorrow in those victims honor reporting live in Vandalia Jackie Sprague 2 news working for you